Hey guys, even here with the old school apps, the British Grand Prix 2020 is a wrap, it's over, James Hollings had won, very, very convincing win, the second place was Regan Grimes, third was Mark Hector, fourth was uh, Jamie Christian, Joe Allor, so called The Giant, aka The Giant, and the fifth spot was, I'm probably gonna butcher this name, Leo Leguerir. So that's, that's your top five guys, and uh, these guys absolutely looked amazing, but I think it was a really decisive, really convincing win for James, I don't think anybody brought this kind of conditioning and mass combined, his legs are looking absolutely insane, and he was ripped, he won his last show, Spain, and now he won another one, this is his second pro win in his career, and it's absolutely amazing how much did James progress since last year, he grew so much, he got more conditioned, more grainy, he got harder and bigger and everything, just he looks much better, this guy, the giant, aka the giant, he really looks like a giant, Damn, like, look at the size of this guy. He's six foot five, guys, and he's a pro, and he's a good pro. Fourth place at the British Grand Prix. Third place was Mark Hector. This guy is super small waisted. Very aesthetic physique, very interesting physique. Uh, Regan Grimes here, not so good in the front double bicep, but the rest of the poses, especially the back poses, show you why, he's, why he took that second place. Uh, was it close between him and James? I don't think so. I don't think it was even close. Uh, from the front, James absolutely blew uh, Regan away, and uh, the other guys kind of did the same thing, if you ask me, but from behind, uh, Regan was probably the best on this stage. I think he was even better than than than, than uh, James, as far as the back itself, maybe not uh, when it comes to hamstrings and, and glutes. He's not that thick and that conditioned, but he's really good from the back, like his back is a really good back. But James ain't playing no games either when it comes to back. His back was also pretty good, but he's kind of holding a lot of water in that lower lower back area. Uh, he has those wrinkles. I think he's just kind of I don't know thick skin they call it. I'm not sure what they mean when they say that. But uh, he has done he has an issue of coming super lean in that area. I think it's it's maybe it's mainly genetic if you ask me. I don't think he needs to diet harder because take a look at the glutes and everything else. Like he was ripped to the shreds, but. He just kind of looks thicker in that area, his skin does. Uh, from the front, as you can see, he's, he's much better, much better than, than, than Regan when it comes to details and the hardness of the quads and the thickness, the size of the chest and, and everything else. So this is a pose, I mean, all the front poses for Regan kind of are showing that he's a little bit soft. He doesn't have that hardness, that, that grainy look that some of, the, some of the other guys have, but... He has a lot of other good features, and that's why he beat the rest of the lineup. He only didn't beat James. So, guys, I mean, second spot, a runner-up position at the British Grand Prix for young Regan is a huge achievement. And what James has done, that's also pretty big. Uh, this guy, aka the Giant, I think that's how we should call him, the Giant. I think it's much more sounding than Jamie, which is his name, so aka the Giant. Looks like an absolute giant. He actually dwarfed the entire stage. Mark Hector showed a lot of promise and uh, mainly the, the size of the waist that was absolutely ridiculous considering the, the, the fact that he has so much muscle. So yeah, there is a bright future ahead of this guy. Uh, and uh, I think also the giant, aka the giant, Jamie, I think he's gonna do well in the future as well. He is six foot five. He weighs around 300 pounds, but he still needs to be bigger. bigger if he wants to fill that frame, so there is still a lot more room to, to add. Uh, Regan just needs to get harder, maybe a little bit bigger and more rounder, uh, which will come with time, I'm sure, and James, if he keeps at this pace, he will be a top 6 Olympian uh, in, in no time. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think about the results of this show, tell me what you think is the potential of these guys, of this top 4 right here. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, if you want to see more, subscribe. All the best, guys, and keep it old school.